It's everywhere. The ubiquitous paper. From the moment we wake, greeted by the news on crisp newsprint, to the calming pages of a bedtime story, paper is an inseparable part of our lives. We scribble our thoughts on notepads, navigate our world with maps, and rely on the humble cardboard box to transport goods across continents. Paper, in its various forms, is the unsung hero of our daily routines, silently facilitating communication, commerce, and creativity. Yet, behind its simple facade lies a complex and fascinating journey, a transformation from raw materials into the essential product we often take for granted. The story of paper is a testament to human ingenuity, a process refined over centuries to produce a material that has shaped civilizations. The next time you pick up a book, write a letter, or simply unfold a paper napkin, take a moment to appreciate the journey it has taken. The lifeblood of paper is fiber, and its primary source is wood. Trees, specifically softwood varieties like spruce, pine, and fir, are harvested from sustainably managed forests, ensuring a continuous cycle of growth and renewal. But wood isn't the only ingredient. Recycled paper plays an equally crucial role. Old newspapers, cardboard boxes, and office paper are collected, sorted, and cleaned, ready to begin their second life. These raw materials converge at paper mills, vast industrial complexes where the transformation begins. Logs are stripped of their bark, chipped into small pieces, and fed into massive digesters. Here, under high pressure and temperature, they undergo a process known as pulping, breaking down the wood into its constituent fibers. Whether derived from virgin wood or recycled materials, the pulp, a slurry of fibers suspended in water, represents the building block of paper. Pulping, the heart of papermaking, is where wood undergoes its metamorphosis. Two primary methods dominate the industry, mechanical pulping and chemical pulping. Mechanical pulping relies on grinders to tear apart wood fibers, resulting in a high yield but lower strength pulp. Chemical pulping dissolves lignin, yielding a stronger, longer lasting pulp. The choice of pulping method dictates the characteristics of the final paper product. Regardless of the method employed, the end result is the same, a slurry of liberated wood fibers suspended in water, ready for the next stage of the papermaking process. The pulp, fresh from the pulping process, is a murky soup, laden with impurities. Washing is the first order of business. The pulp is diluted with water and passed through screens and filters. The water, now carrying impurities, is treated and reused, minimizing waste. What remains is a cleaner, more refined pulp, still brownish from lignin. Enter the bleaching process using oxygen, ozone, or hydrogen peroxide. The result is a purified, refined pulp, ready for the next stage. The pulp, now cleansed and bleached, still resembles a watery soup, far removed from the solid sheet we recognize as paper. The watery pulp is first channeled onto a moving wire mesh, a giant sieve that allows water to drain away, leaving behind a thin, continuous sheet of fibers. This nascent paper sheet, still weak and fragile, is then sandwiched between heavy rollers, squeezing out more water and compressing the fibers, increasing their density and strength. The pressure applied during this pressing stage determines the paper's thickness and surface texture. From the rollers, the damp paper sheet embarks on a journey through a labyrinthine drying section. Here it glides over a series of heated rollers, the warmth gently coaxing out the remaining moisture. As the paper dries, the hydrogen bonds between the cellulose fibers strengthen, giving the paper its inherent strength and integrity. The once fluid pulp has now solidified, transformed into a continuous sheet of paper, still warm from the drying process. The paper, though now a recognizable sheet, emerges from the drying section with a relatively rough surface, unsuitable for high-quality printing or writing. To achieve the desired smoothness and printability, it undergoes a final series of treatments known as calendaring. Calendaring involves passing the paper through a series of polished rollers, each rotating at a slightly different speed. This process smooths out the paper's surface, ironing out any remaining imperfections, and imparting a subtle sheen. The degree of calendaring determines the paper's glossiness, from the matte finish of art paper to the high gloss of photographic paper. Depending on the intended application, paper may undergo additional treatments. Sizing agents are added to control the paper's absorbency, preventing ink from feathering. Fillers, such as clay or calcium carbonate, are incorporated to enhance opacity and brightness, making the paper more suitable for printing. 
The journey from tree to sheet culminates in a roll of finished paper, ready to be cut, packaged, and shipped to its final destination. The future of paper is linked to sustainability. The paper industry embraces sustainable practices, ensuring paper remains integral without harming our planet. Replanting trees and managing forests responsibly ensures a continuous wood supply. Recycling reduces the demand for virgin wood fiber and minimizes waste. Paper mills innovate to reduce water and energy consumption. Nanotechnology and bio-based coatings enhance paper's functionality. Sustainability and innovation will guide papermaking's future, keeping it integral for generations.